Today we'll discuss three themes of accelerated growth and the role of the modern CEO and the senior management team in order to affect these changes. And with me to discuss the first theme, I have Andreas Larsson, who is the group CFO of CARES, who's a uh, global company, presence in more than 70 countries. A, uh, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you very much. And the first theme that we'll discuss is actually the role of the CEO and the senior management team in initiating this change. I think the main role of senior management is to really lead the change and to act as role models when uh, driving through the change. I think it is also important that the management is acting with one voice so that we are really aligned as a management team when driving this out in the organization in order to get uh, a good traction and momentum in the organization so that they really understand that this is something that is important, that we are focusing on, and nothing that will just go away. And what's most difficult about that, would you say? To really admit and realize that our current methodology is not efficient enough. We need to do something different and really dare to try to do something different and swallow that pride. Many leaders report being kind of torn between two ideals of leadership. On the one hand, you have the delegating and the very trusting, empowering leadership that can struggle with clarity sometimes. And on the other hand, you have the very clear, almost militaristic style of leadership. Where do you think that when driving change, most leaders struggle today? I think that the most common way uh, is to do it top down. When you want to drive change, you take a firm grip and you act uh, thoroughly in, in the organization. And probably this top-down approach is the quickest way of getting a result. But I'm not sure that it is the, the best way of creating a lasting result. I think it's, it's, you need to have a mixture of actually being firm from the management team, showing that this is important, this we will focus on, but make sure that you get attraction in the organization, bottom-up, to actually wanting the organization to drive the change, getting the organization to feel that this is actually something which is helping us in our work. It is not, not used to control if I'm doing what I should. It is supporting me, my work and my daily activities. How we recently published our CEO uh, survey, more than 200 respondents, uh, it found out partly that respondents report on average that only 12% of CEOs report that they meet or exceed their targets over a three to five year period. Why would you say that it's only 12%? It's a pretty low number. I think the reason to the, to the low number is that uh, you have so many priorities in the, in the company and you are not following through on the activities that you actually set out to, to reach. When you have done it for a while, there are other things coming in, becoming more important, and then you get distracted from the target you have set out to, uh, to do. Uh, 